Cancer specialists are carefully watching a promising new treatment for a deadly type of brain cancer. It uses the polio virus. As we first told you last week, the FDA just granted the treatment breakthrough status. That means clinical trials can move more quickly than usual. Scott Pelley and 60 Minutes have been following the trials at Duke University for two years, tracking several of the study's participants. Dr. Fritz Anderson showed us the results in another patient himself. He's a retired cardiologist, and at age 70, he became the second person in the polio trial. This is a uh, fairly sizable temporal uh, tumor, which means... That we see right here. On the left is his tumor before treatment. On the right, a hairline scar where it used to be. That was nearly three years ago. Do you consider yourself cured or I, I, do you call feel, it remission? I feel it is a cure and I, I live my life that way. Our Dr. David Agus is one of the world's leading cancer experts. He's in Los Angeles. David, good morning. Good morning, Nora. It was a great report last night. Explain how this therapy works. It's pretty wild. It's that polio virus can infect a sensor, a receptor on cells that's present in brain cancer. So they inject it into the brain and then it goes in the cells and it kills some of the cells, but most importantly, it wakes up the immune system. You can see in the graphic here, they actually took out the part of the polio virus that causes all the debilitating parts of polio and replaced it with a cold virus. So this polio virus construct, the re-engineered one, doesn't harm normal cells. It's just turned on by the biochemistry of the cancer cells to be able to kill them. But the key is the immune system coming in. And it's a dramatic advance in these cancers that literally people would live for weeks after they failed standard treatment. And it wasn't just the polio virus that was needed, though, right? You had to combine it with chemo. Well, what the data shows is that the polio virus alone works in many, if not most, patients. But sometimes the cancer comes back. And then when you add chemotherapy, and this is chemotherapy they had already seen before, you get a dramatic response. So somehow that polio virus reawakened the cells to respond to this chemotherapy, and they went back into remission in some of the patients. It doesn't work in everybody, but again, this is a deadly cancer that uniformly, unfortunately, will kill patients, and the results have been dramatic thus far. So what other cancers might it be applicable to? Well, this sensor for the polio virus is present on breast cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancers, pancreatic cancers, and work is ongoing now in the laboratory to see if it can actually work in those cancers outside of the brain. You know, the brain is unique, right, in, in that you can inject it into the cancer and it's really in one special spot. Other cancers spread throughout the body, so it's not yet known whether it will work, but certainly encouraging data are there. So the FDA has now given it something called breakthrough status which means what exactly to when it will actually be on the market? So breakthrough status is when a drug is significantly better than what's out there to treat that stage of a disease. And in this case, what it means is the trial is going to expand to about 40 centers and treat hundreds of people. And if that works, which is called a phase two trial, then it may go right for FDA approval and hopefully be on the market. But it's going to expand across the country now. And that's certainly encouraging for anybody with this horrible disorder called glioblastoma brain cancer. Can you call it a cure? I don't think so. Um, and again, we're very reticent to use that word in my business, but there are people who've received this who have these dramatic responses and then recurred. And so in my business, you know, cure equals, you know, 10, 20 years without the disease coming back. Every day we offer somebody hope and quality of life with an advanced cancer is to me a blessing. And so I just hold my hat on that. Cure is something we don't even want to talk about at the present time. Yeah, it does sound promising. And if anything that gives people hope, we're always glad to see that. Thank you very much, Dr. David Agus. And we should mention that the Duke scientists are investors in the company created to market this treatment. And that is not unusual.